Greetings, scum. Phasma here. I wanted to give you all an update that for the most part, I am doing fine. And I'm definitely doing better than I was during the previous transmission. Although I am wondering if I am suffocating in here. I'm still trapped in this closet, as you can see. But I have no intention of losing my mind on screen again. However, the sentiments expressed in that previous transmission were nonetheless sincere. So today, I will be taking my first steps towards a new life. And where better to begin than to play a little game? It's something I found while surfing the interwebs called What's Your Star Wars Name? The name Star Wars intrigued me, but I don't know what it means exactly. I've seen my share of stars and wars, so it sounds like it might be the best place to start. Also, this game is a lot better than other ones that I found, because unlike the ones which take your name and alter it in some nonsensical way, this one is chosen for you based on who you are as a personality. Well, here on out, holding you all as witnesses and hoping I don't regret it, I swear that whatever result this test reveals, I shall forever go by the name selected for me. Let's begin, shall we? Oh, this is so exciting. Number one, you are in a tight spot and a ranker is about to attack. You find the nearest exit and run. Stand your ground and fight. Play dead and hope it won't see you. Throw your friend at the rancor and escape while it's distracted. Well, it seems this dunce didn't do their research on rancors because they clearly are not blind. And no matter how dead you play, you won't get away. D is the obvious answer for me here. I mean, it would work if I actually had friends. Even one friend. Which world appeals to you? Parnassos, Naboo, Coruscant, or Kashyyyk? Now who in their right mind would say they prefer Parnassos? I grew up there and I can tell you that place is a uh, hole. Nothing is appealing about it whatsoever. But I do have a liking for lakes and greenery. So I'll have to say Naboo. Number five. If you had a lightsaber, its color would be red, blue, green, purple. I mean, why do they even ask that question? I find it kind of odd. According to all known knowledge, there are only two, maybe three lightsabers in the entire galaxy. So how could I possibly hope to acquire one? But I wouldn't want one anyways. I prefer blasters. I skipped over a few because I was a little bit bored with this. Number 11. If you owned a spaceship, it would have a visibility cloak, battering ram, double ray guns, triple level hollow chest. Battering ram? Wait. Is that when a ship can actually purposefully crash into another and cause immense damage and you can still survive? That's an amazing idea! Who would ram their ship into another if you couldn't survive? Only some martyr with a lost cause, that's him. But I believe the more intelligent feature would be invisibility cloak. Because ships have windows. And if you think that radar jamming is good enough to hide you in space, you're dead wrong. When taking down an opponent, you go for a stealth attack, quick and silent. Befriend them first and then betray them when they least expect it. Convince them to see reason and join your side. Full force, guns blazing. I tend to prefer efficiency when silencing my opponents, but the second option intrigues me. I do also enjoy living and lying and representing myself as something and being completely different. I mean, I've done pretty well with lying in the last 20 years in the first order. Oh wait, this is live. Number 13. Which is your preferred weapon? Blaster, lightsaber, grenade, bare fist. If anyone out there chooses D, you clearly have a death wish. No one kills with blunt weapons anymore. At least not ones who want to get something done. And hand-to-hand -hand combat is most ineffective. As it necessitates actually being up close to your target. Ugh. Blaster will and always shall be the most effective and efficient weapon. Number 20. Oh, this is the last one now. You need a member of the resistance. You salute, watch them wear a lane say nothing, 
immediately speak to them to conspire against the First Order, aim at their head and fire no questions asked. D, of course. Everyone, it's starting to calculate my answer. It's checking up all my character qualities for a brief moment, and then we shall see who Captain Phasma shall finally be called in her new life. Your new name is... Janila, 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 Janila. Perhaps I should be taking this more seriously. It's uncertain pronunciation. It's perhaps a metaphorical representation of the ambiguity of my soul. The possibilities are endless. My potential without borders. So, to inaugurate my new life. I shall take it upon myself, the least intuitive pronunciation of my new name, Jen Mila. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this bit of soul searching with me. Jen Mila is pleased to have you all here. What, were you tuning in to hear Captain Phasma? Wrong. Who cares about that lazy bat, that coward? She couldn't even get out of that trash compactor if she wanted to. She had to walk out because some TIE fighter blasted a hole in it for her. What a lame character. Who cares about her anyways? This is Jen Mila, signing out. No matter who you are, or where you came from, you are still scum.